protect yourself at all times. And when I say you must obey, good luck. Touch up. To the battle. Now, they will be alone. Each other. They are genuinely friendly. They like each other. It should not show up in the fight. No. Question one, is round one a boxing match? Or does Hatton want to fight right away? Create anxiety. But you have to watch Manny, because Manny's still the better puncher between the two. So he still wants to apply pressure, but with care. Yes, with Against care. Pacquiao's faster yes. hands. Yes. And I think he's doing just that. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Trying to hit Hatton as he comes in. Key element of the game plan for Pacquiao. Allow Hatton to come forward, catch him on the way in. A key element of the game plan for Hatton, get Pacquiao against the ropes, just like that. Pacquiao has been more successful with the right than the left. That, that, that punch missed. There's the right again landing. Quick right. It's going to be an important factor to see how Kitty Bayless handles this fight, because it could be exciting and it could end up being a very wrestling type match also. Great right hand for Hatton, glazed across the face. Uh -huh. Probably been his best punch early. Straight jab lands for Pacquiao. Which again shows that he's no longer a one-punch puncher. No, nope. follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. And that's a knockdown for Manny Pacquiao. Perfect right hand inside. I don't know if Vicky's going to survive. I, you know, I'm surprised to see him get hurt for Shelly. But you know, he's not the type of a guy that goes out of survive. He's a fighter. Hatton got a couple of extra seconds as Bayless tried to back Pacquiao off. Pacquiao was coming out of the neutral corner in a hurry. Lands another right hook. Pacquiao's hands are so fast. Pacquiao's hands are blindingly fast. His hands are so fast. That no opponent sees the punches coming. A very Another perfect up. right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Pacquiao in round one. Here's the first knockdown, Emmanuel. Right, right hook as he was coming in, never saw it. And what's amazing to see him land a punch and then slip a punch all at the same time shows unbelievable coordination. The issue has always been timing. whether Hatton could get to Pacquiao and a 62, 31 out of 52 power shots. Hatton only eight out of 33. It was a Pacquiao storm in the first round. This, and we have to remember now, although it's a different type of fight, that Pacquiao knocked Marquez down three times in the first round. And then Marquez, a counterpuncher, began to solve him. Hatton is not a counterpuncher. Hard left hand by Hatton. Ricky has decided to bite fire with fire. So try to smother this guy and get close. He's trying to punch at a certain distance. Pacquiao is actually just too sharp for an accurate puncher. You heard Floyd Mayweather saying to Hatton, you can't just jump all over him. You've got to move your head. You've got to think. You've got to do the things we talked about in training camp. Hatton seemed to believe that he could physically overpower Pacquiao from the beginning. Yeah, and he, and, and he knew in the beginning he was going to take the risk of getting caught, and he did. Because, you know, coming in, Pacquiao still is the puncher. The physical strength is still with Hatton, but the, the, the puncher still Pacquiao. Did. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stunned Hatton and knocked him back. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao. Landing with both right and left hands. Misses the right hook there. What Ricky needs to do is to smother him. He cannot see to deal with those punches. He needs to push him. Just what he's doing there. Good left hook inside by Hatton. And then he closed down Pacquiao's left side. Hard right hand again by Pacquiao. Ricky can't see the hook coming. Right behind the head. All right, okay. Kenny Bayless warns Hatton for holding behind the head. Hatton's most famous victory over Costa Zoo, he just smothered him and didn't allow him to get off. He can't seem to be able to get close enough to Pacquiao often enough to do that. And Costa Pacquiao's Zou. hands are so quick. 
That's the point. Pacquiao's, Pacquiao's head. blinding speed that sets him apart. As well as his head movement. His head movement is a phenomenal. I don't think he's landed to the punch, maintain balance, which he used to can do. And his head, head movement is just to get a little wild. Now he goes back to more precision. Yeah, lands but, a hard body shot. But Ricky isn't moving his head too much still. His head is still like that. That is oh, oh my gosh, what a straight left hand. And will Hatton make it up from this? Can he beat the count? Is that it? And Kenny Bella says, no way. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. And I'm not sure the best featherweights. And Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That and was it, super slow yeah, motion. Yeah, and he never saw a time him coming in. Yeah. It's the first time he's knocked out somebody like this since he was at 130 pounds. And Hatton's head hit the...